Okay, so uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, uh, today uh, we would uh, start with something known as analog and mixed signal testing. So all this while uh, we were uh, essentially focusing on uh, digital uh, VLSI uh, circuit testing and, and today uh, uh, we will have a, just a brief introduction about analog and mixed signal uh, testing. So uh, 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 the, what are the problems associated with analog test? Uh, no, uh, uh, testing okay so we'll see that uh, first is the uh, modeling uh, function right uh, when you have uh, uh, <coughs> st structural uh, defects uh, in the vlsi uh, it was like uh, uh, right stuck at zero or stuck at one right and and that could cause an uh, logical fault at the output okay but in analog uh, that is not the case um, actually uh, in in the out uh, at the output okay uh, it is all uh, like a band is given for every output okay uh, for each output and uh, several specifications are there there could be an, a single output and and the specification could be uh, minimum overall gain or minimum uh, minimum bandwidth right so an acceptable uh, range of values are available at the uh, output and then uh, a, a defect say say what could be a defect in uh, while fabricating an analog circuit and the resistance could be uh, shorted right or the uh, no, uh, uh, there could be a resistance which say for example a 10k resistance was to be fabricated uh, because of fabrication it has got fabricated as uh, uh, 5k right uh, or there could be some uh, uh, between uh, two parts and uh, and uh, kind of uh, high resistance uh, bridge, uh, uh, unintended uh, bridge uh, has got inserted, right? So all these faults may not directly get mapped uh, as uh, uh, cannot be observed at the output in terms of uh, uh, functionality. It may or may not be directly be mapped. So for each fault, uh, uh, like we did all those algorithms, for each fault, uh, we had a corresponding defect at the output, okay? Uh, for analog, uh, uh, since first of all, uh, there are uh, two things. Uh, one is known as uh, <coughs> catastrophic uh, 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 fault and one is parametric. So uh, here, uh, we could have a resistance completely open or completely closed. In parametric, uh, what we could have is uh, that the, uh, there is a, it's not completely open or closed, uh, but it could be uh, like instead of 5K, it is 6K or 4K. So those kind of defects. So so the entire uh, modeling problem of analog uh, testing is, is slightly uh, complicated, right? Uh, the second uh, issue is uh, right for a uh, digital circuit, the simulation is very very uh, simple. Okay, the the background, uh, 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 which runs. Okay, uh, the ma how the mathematical equations it, it works on Boolean algebra right so so there is no uh, issue so if there is a cut or there is an open zero gets transformed into one or one gets transformed into zero or it goes into an high impedance state so so zero one high impedance unknown these are a set of uh, uh, variables uh, which are there in the boolean algebra and straightforward right uh, uh, but when we are doing a normal analog uh, simulation, I mean, we are not even talking about faults, okay? When we are doing a normal analog simulation, right, the values could be infinite, right? If there is a, so, uh, how does the, uh, 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 so when we run a simulation algorithm, then uh, depending on the accuracy which we have set, okay, that much uh, time it takes, right? And, and, and it uh, talks about so uh, the, the more the accuracy uh, you said um, it will take uh, uh, more time and uh, uh, it will uh, so uh, in a in a big analog circuit uh, if you set the accuracy very high it will it is going to take a uh, uh, very very uh, large time and and when they when when the simulator is uh, solving the equation so the numerical uh, 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 a, a accuracy uh, depends on the simulation algorithm so various algorithms are there right so when you uh, uh, right when you when you do an uh, analog uh, circuit simulation there will be several transistors and if you see uh, for the bism 3 model 
uh, the current equation of an uh, uh, MOSFET has has got uh, uh, what sec it's in second order uh, equation with with uh, around uh, uh, 20 30 variables right uh, so what we do uh, for hand calculations itself has got uh, five or six parameters but if you uh, open up the TSMC library and if you have a look at the BISM3 model so uh, the the so the software tries to solve uh, all those equations for every transistor in the circuit right uh, and 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 then uh, uh, if you set the accuracy very high it's going to take a long uh, process now uh, without any fault itself it is difficult you know, to get the uh, answers accurate answers so uh, we we said the generally we relax the accuracy when we don't get the answers now if you have to simulate the entire thing again with fault at every node then again you know, uh, it will be uh, uh, right right it will take a uh, more time and then uh, uh, we cannot be very very uh, sure because uh, all these simulations what we do uh, we set some set of accuracy so that value and the actual measurement value uh, it could differ because uh, this is not a hundred percent accurate any uh, uh, software in analog simulation we cannot claim it is hundred uh, percent accuracy because uh, there is there in the softwares there will be some uh, error tolerance uh, inbuilt error to tolerance okay uh, for the solutions to converge so there will be a, uh, there will always be a simulation error so you we can't say okay the results of the simulations and results, uh, results of the actual testing uh, will match 100% okay that then also uh, there will be a test measurement uh, error so uh, so digital testing is very very uh, easy so when we uh, put a probe we can easily uh, detect whether uh, it is a logical one or logical uh, zero right uh, but whereas when you are uh, doing an uh, uh, testing of a you know uh, fabricated chip, uh, then the, it it is very very uh, difficult, right? Uh, because uh, there is an, a measurement probe will have its own uh, impedance, right? There will be a random uh, noise, uh, okay? And the probes uh, and the uh, PCB on which this chip is mounted and and finally the signal is taken to the uh, measurement uh, instrument, uh, they can uh, uh, induce uh, bandwidth limitations. So uh, there will be uh, tester measurement errors also in the analog circuits. Okay, so this is another uh, uh, big constraint. Uh, then uh, for uh, mixed signal uh, chips, mostly nowadays we have very few uh, uh, analog chips. Uh, like I uh, mentioned in my uh, in the advanced uh, uh, VLSI uh, class, right? Uh, uh, these days, uh, what we have is a mixed. Uh, you we don't have uh, many uh, few analog chips purely. Uh, I have an uh, analog uh, input. Uh, I will have an uh, analog to digital uh, conversion, right? And and then I will have a digital signal processing here. Right, so uh, so once I do uh, like initially uh, uh, analog chips, if I have to do a uh, low pass filter uh, uh, or a high pass filter, I will have an RC thing, right? That was the uh, uh, conventional design. Uh, but these days, uh, uh, about uh, uh, and to amplify everything was uh, uh, being done in the analog domain. But now the trend is you have a uh, signal and uh, uh, you could pass it through an ADC. Uh, you have an, an uh, signal, digital signal coming here and this uh, you can do lot of functions you know, with great accuracy and uh, speed in a digital signal uh, processing chip, right? So uh, they can uh, uh, like they can enhance the quality of the image, they can remove the noise right so it can do so many things with analog signals these days and then once it is done uh, it, it is again given back to DAC and and it is given back right so you have uh, chips in which uh, and also uh, since it's a uh, digital chip there will be a whole lot of uh, uh, digital VLSI circuits also uh, so when we are uh, uh, doing uh, testing you will find a lot of digital noise also is uh, uh, available uh, here in this uh, uh, circuit so the testing is not an uh, uh, straightforward and uh, uh, it's not a straightforward uh, analog chip anymore okay so and hence uh, that kind of uh, testing is 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 slightly uh, uh, tricky now 
uh, test uh, accessibility uh, problems right so in in digital uh, circuits you know, uh, we saw that uh, we could have an uh, scan design uh, and this input is given here you take an uh, parallel and uh, uh, right you, know, you could uh, have an uh, parallel uh, observatory uh, pin or uh, you could have an uh, scan design uh, right so uh, uh, this actually uh, scan design won't work is is, is not an uh, 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 let me remove that word itself Well, uh, because you know, uh, uh, we can uh, do a little bit of a uh, scan there in analog also. I'll I'll, I'll show you how we get a uh, scan, right? Uh, so so now what happens is in a uh, uh, like, like if the uh, uh, output. And, uh, right and, uh, it, it is going to an uh, circuit and and you want to do you, know, uh, you want to insert something uh, for observability then the impedance changes uh, all these things right in the digital circuits a little bit of uh, fan out changes but uh, a little higher fan out won't uh, introduce an uh, error in the signal out here right uh, whereas in, uh, uh, in 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 analog uh, circuits, okay, uh, if you if you keep you know, putting multiplexers and if you try to do these things, so there is a possibility that that that, that the signal uh, deteriorates. Okay, so that is, and the last problem which uh, is there with analog uh, testing is information uh, flow. So now uh, it is uh, like it is very very uh, difficult um, here. Uh, to test the circuits in individually because most of the analog circuits will be cascaded to one another uh, and, and uh, if two cascaded systems are working fine uh, if they are uh, uh, put uh, put to uh, uh, if two units are working individually fine and if i cascade them uh, i cannot be very sure that the cascade is working fine or not right uh, because it could uh, so happen okay gain of this and gain of this is is driving the uh, output to saturation or when there is an impedance matching there are you know, reflections happening between those two nodes so so many things can happen right so uh, two analog circuits if you test individually i cannot for sure say okay uh, no, uh, when they are cascaded they will work fine okay uh, so that there there still remains an uh, question mark there okay so so uh, it, it is so we can't uh, keep uh, we, what we saw uh, in the digital circuit uh, sensitization and propagation so all those things uh, won't uh, work for an analog circuit okay so it is very difficult to propagate a fault from uh, uh, from one point up to the other we don't know how how that uh, fault when it goes into the next analog block uh, uh, how it gets uh, uh, it could get dissolved in the next block also right and or it could get amplified also so we, we really uh, the way we uh, want this fault to get reflected at the output uh, that may not happen uh, when it is passing through different right whereas in digital circuits and if it's in a stuck at zero it is a zero so when it gets transmitted uh, similar uh, thing uh, like like suppose uh, uh, here okay uh, on the first stage the gain is supposed to be you know, <coughs> no, uh, something it is lesser than that and and because of which there is a lot of noise also right and when it is being uh, passed from these amplifier this amplifier this could get amplified and it could meet the specifications at the output and and but the thing is there could be more noise out here uh, which you know you, you can't make out so you can't distinguish that this problem has occurred uh, in between so these kind of issues will be there in uh, analog testing <coughs> right so uh, there are uh, something known as hard faults and there is something known as uh, soft faults okay now hard faults are nothing but uh, if, if a you know, component is open or uh, shorted completely uh, or uh, some line is getting stuck at vdd or vss okay so so these also uh, could be uh, some faults okay uh, so <coughs> So uh, we do use you know, uh, VSS also uh, in the uh, analog circuits, right? So suppose I uh, have an, an uh, amplifier out here, right? And there is an uh, CS amplifier, right? Generally in, in digital circuits, we uh, tend to give uh, VDD and ground, uh, and then uh, I have this 
<coughs> right? Uh, resistive and uh, network and all. So, uh, but uh, if I uh, give here a uh, uh, minus SS, right? This and then then this resistive network uh, won't be required. I can uh, probably uh, right even with ground also. So there is a, a possibility of the signal uh, being uh, given here. So it helps, right? So uh, so it can be. Uh, uh, sir. Yeah. Uh uh, I have a question here. Like, uh, what we are saying that so, like, analog faults are like bit uh, hard to find and all those things, right? Yes. And in normally digital, we will uh, tie it as stuck at one or stuck at zero. Yes. Uh, then like, uh, suppose these hard faults can't be like bifurcated into the uh, like uh, VDD as a stuck at one and the VSS as a stuck at kind of zero. Yes. Uh, is there any possibility of that? Uh, the these one is it? No. What? Yes. Uh, uh, if it is getting uh, stuck at one and stuck at uh, uh, zero, right? Uh, like, 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 you know, uh, for uh, example, uh, out here. Okay, let me uh, take. Uh, this is an amplifier. Suppose I have uh, designed, you know, uh, and and uh, there is an RD and there is an uh, RS. Okay. <coughs> so I have designed an amplifier. Okay. Uh, so the uh, the gain is you know, uh, RD by rs right uh, suppose at this node uh, there is a uh, stuck at zero right so uh, so the so what would happen uh, the gain would become uh, gmrd infinite gmrd yeah right so you will see uh, uh, say this was an uh, uh, this was only 100 this has gone to 1000 right this could go and uh, because uh, I, probably at this stage I don't want uh, uh, such high gain because next gain, uh, it, next stage it could go and get saturated and cause non-linearity. Okay, uh, so uh, so this is the kind of uh, so I can't really propagate this uh, no, stuck at zero to the next stage. Those kind of it, it is going to change one of my analog parameter. Correct. So uh, yeah, sir, understood. Right? Yeah. So so uh, we'll uh, see what what we can do with such faults. Okay. So these mm -hmm. faults, although they are uh, digital in nature, uh, the effect will be analog in nature. Okay. So so these are uh, these faults are uh, digital in nature, but uh, the consequence of these uh, uh, are uh, 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 may may be parametric. Like like if uh, if it is stuck at VTD, I cannot say the output will be zero or one. Right, like like I gave an example out here. Okay, uh, these faults also can uh, lead to some uh, analog faults at the output. Okay, then there could be some you know, uh, soft faults or parametric faults uh, in which the value of the R, L, uh, C, you know, uh, transistor tra transconductance they can uh, vary. Okay, during fabrication uh, because of which the performance will be uh, you know, uh, uh, out of the specified area. Okay, so these are the two kind of uh, faults which can happen. Okay, now uh, there are uh, something known as uh, single parametric faults. Okay, and multiple parametric faults. So single parametric faults, uh, like uh, in digital circuits. Okay, uh, we said uh, we will uh, uh, mostly focus on uh, single stuck at faults. Right, most of our thing, we and we said uh, the problem of multiple stuck at faults is going to be very very uh, uh, the, the uh, that uh, uh, the probability of uh, multiple stuck at faults is very very negligible. Uh, we did we learnt about some statistics and then uh, all the algorithms are focused on a single stuck at fault. Okay, uh, not single single stuck at fault. That means uh, at any given point of time, there will be one fault. But then we covered that that fault can happen anywhere in the circuit. Okay, right? That is what what that was the fall, uh, philosophy which we followed. Uh, we said there 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 can be a single stuck at fault. That means at any given point, there will be one fault. But that fault can happen anywhere in the circuit, and we did hundred percent fault coverage. Okay, but we never. Uh, took a, uh, if, if you see all the algorithms which uh, we said, uh, we never considered, okay, this will be the fault, also this will be the fault, and then what will be the result, okay? Uh, that kind of analysis we didn't do. Uh, all the algorithms, if you look carefully, uh, it, it, it focuses on single stuck at fault, okay? Uh, now, uh, so you could have an, a single parametric fault, okay? Uh, but uh, that is that has got very, very limited applications in analog uh, domain. Uh, 
that single uh, fault is generally applicable to uh, uh, interconnects okay suppose i have an uh, wire uh, i can say okay this wire is open this wire is closed or the resistance of the wire has gone uh, higher or it is lower or, or there is an uh, stray uh, capacitance uh, associated with this wire okay so these are all uh, 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 single parametric faults associated with uh, wires okay but in uh, actual uh, circuits okay uh, most of the circuits the performance actually uh, uh, gets uh, 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 we have to define the uh, uh, performance now uh, based on uh, multiple faults and the uh, ratio of the faults okay uh, multiple parametric faults uh, for example uh, this is an uh, first uh, stage so the gain out here okay uh, is uh, dependent R2 by R1, right? So, uh, if I uh, just consider uh, uh, a fault of one resistance, right, it, it won't uh, uh, tell me, uh, right, whether this is, so, suppose I, I I set the tolerance of 10 out here, 10%, right? So, if this is a moving high 10%, okay, uh, and this is moving down 10%, then the signal, uh, so I can't say, okay, I, I said this, as uh, 10 okay so uh, it will give me an erroneous uh, result uh, both are moving in a 10 percent that it may not give me a, uh, right Bo if it if both have been uh, placed in, a, in the fabrication close to each other right and, and same kind of in a fabrication defect is happening in both these resistance then uh, the overall gain uh, may not change it might be acceptable also right so you have to uh, see that while doing the layout okay uh, uh, such uh, which are closely related to each other uh, you might want to place it close to each other so in the first stage uh, again right uh, it is not uh, we just don't uh, focus at fault at r1 okay since r2 by r1 is there so so we say okay this par this gain uh, is dependent on on the uh, parametric variation of r2 by r1 okay uh, similarly uh, r3 and uh, c1 so uh, here the signal from here to here okay there is an uh, high uh, uh, high pass uh, filter so low frequency sing uh, signals is being uh, filtered out here so we say r3 and uh, c1 uh, together uh, determine the uh, uh, bandwidth out here right uh, similarly, uh, this signal, and uh, when it has come uh, coming to the uh, output, R4 and uh, R5 uh, define the uh, low pass uh, gain, and R4, R5, uh, and and uh, C2 uh, together they define the uh, uh, low pass, uh, because again this is a uh, low pass uh, integrator, so they will uh, decide uh, decide the uh, they will determine the uh, AC gain, right? Uh, and and the low pass and uh, filter cutoff frequency will uh, decided by uh, C2. So for uh, uh, different uh, points, so this is the starting point for us. Like for a digital circuit, uh, we have uh, circuit faults and things like that. For analog circuit, the fault model uh, starts like this. Okay, uh, we define uh, various parameters. Okay, and uh, for those parameters, okay, for different uh, uh, parameters at, at different nodes. And for those parameters, what are the determining uh, co components? Okay, so we need to make a table like this. Okay, now see if you see, uh, unfortunately uh, in analog circuit, okay, now nothing, uh, most of the things cannot be automated. Okay, so uh, everything the analog designer has to do it in a manually, unlike the uh, digital circuit. Okay, so if you if you uh, put it into a, a software, uh, it it is very unlikely that. Uh, these kind of uh, results will be available okay uh, because the, the most of the it, it will be too complex uh, for an algorithm uh, to run and tell okay for for these so uh, automatic test pattern generation for uh, analog is very very uh, limited and also every uh, uh, circuit uh, depending on uh, uh, application uh, okay there are several uh, variants of uh, 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 these circuits right so uh, that imposes another uh, uh, constraint. Uh, similarly, if I have a uh, circuit uh, something like this, now the uh, biasing current uh, out here, right? Now uh, that depends on this transistor, this transistor, and, and this transistor, right? The ratio of these two, right? So the what current is established here, and and what current? So uh, uh, so that uh, particular uh, fault uh, will be 
like these are the uh, functional parameters and these are the associated components so you have to you know, uh, uh, map like that uh, uh, for uh, differential uh, linearity uh, again uh, uh, k uh, it is km actually what we studied in our uh, 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 VLSI circuits kn mu and c ox by w by l so so the k of uh, this is k uh, and uh, m124 is the transistor name uh, so k of all these transistors will uh, define the uh, differential uh, linearity uh, output voltage uh, again depends on the k okay compensation okay uh, so you don't have to mug up all these tables and all okay i am just an, uh, uh, telling the philosophy this is not an analog design class this is a uh, testing class so uh, don't have to mug up you know, what would be these for each circuit okay uh, so we are not uh, interested about the analog analysis uh, we are just uh, discussing the uh, concepts on how to go about uh, doing analog fault testing right uh, so uh, when we uh, uh, do the uh, simulation of the analog uh, circuits okay uh, for testing purpose okay for testing purpose not for when we do the te te uh, we have to do right fault free simulation and and also uh, with fault simulation so when we do uh, testing so we want to optimize the type okay so we don't uh, do a transistor level detailed uh, 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 analysis okay uh, because you uh, it, it would take you uh, uh, every transistor needs to be modeled and and do that so uh, instead of that and uh, what uh, we do is uh, we do an uh, a high, higher level abstraction or it's known as functional level uh, in which all these op amps and all right oh, these uh, op amps and all uh, will be uh, considered as an uh, ideal uh, op amp in the first stage okay uh, op amp uh, testing uh, we, we might want to do uh, separately but you know, we will assume uh, to run the simulation okay uh, for a you know, uh, fault free thing we will uh, try to uh, uh, idealize the op amps okay uh, that means an, uh, an ideal op amp will have infinite uh, again there won't be any input currents and all those things so this will uh, considerably uh, reduce the uh, testing time in the first uh, run okay so that is uh, done right now there are uh, different types of uh, uh, testing uh, first is known as the uh, specification based uh, testing okay uh, now if you see here uh, each uh, class of analog circuit uh, will have and uh, its own separate set of uh, specifications right uh, it could be an uh, the circuit could be an op amp it could be an adc it could be a dac it could be a filter right uh, 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 anything so different circuits so each of the circuit will have uh, its own sets of uh, 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 like like uh, uh, an op amp uh, has a, a different set of uh, specifications right uh, it will have bandwidth it will have gain it will have sleeve rate it will have the max power and things like that and uh, adc will have different set of specifications right unlike uh, it, it it could be the uh, no, uh, non linearity uh, dnl inl right uh, resolution a uh, number of bits right so all those so the set of specifications uh, for uh, adc uh, will be uh, different similarly for dac also for a filter also so uh, every analog circuit will have uh, its own uh, set of uh, specification so in the specification based testing we take that circuit under test and uh, we take that that particular set of uh, uh, specifications we try to uh, test okay uh, rather than doing a uh, structural uh, test right it, it is time consuming right uh, but then uh, 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 like like suppose i have a uh, big circuit okay uh, instead of trying to find out what is the faults at at, at different uh, uh, place this entire uh, circuit specifications is known right that means if i give a test signal okay i need to have an uh, okay minimum gain so i check the output okay against the specification uh, similarly uh, if if i say the sensitivity okay that means i can detect even 1 millivolt of uh, signal without any issue and i will get and uh, for that 1 millivolt signal also uh, the output will be available uh, with a uh, specific signal to noise ratio okay uh, so if you still go, if the signal is below this then this uh, signal to noise ratio or uh, no uh, won't be uh, met here okay so now I give that minimum signal and I measure the output. Okay. Uh, similarly, this entire block might have certain uh, bandwidth. Okay. So now I give that an, a very very uh, high frequency out here, 
<coughs> and see you know, what is the attenuation. So, I, I, I may want to uh, know, sweep this signal from you know, 0 to very high frequency. Like, like what we do AC analysis, right? So, same thing in, in a, on, on a test bench, we will slowly, slowly uh, increase the uh, signal uh, for, for, with, with the help of a uh, VCO or a frequency synthesizer and, and try to uh, plot the uh, output bandwidth, okay? So, uh, so there is no universal set of uh, specifications, okay? It, 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 uh, for each circuit, it will be different. And uh, based on the uh, design specifications, you have to generate, you have to uh, manually uh, set, okay? It can't be automated. Manually uh, set the uh, test vectors and the expected output results, okay? Uh, so, they can be classified into uh, uh, three. One is a uh, design uh, characterization to meet the design specifications, okay, that we generally do. And also, uh, if the design uh, fails, okay, if the design fails, right, if you are not getting the desired uh, results, then, you, uh, no, right, you, you can't, uh, if you are discarding the uh, no, uh, chip in one go, and then uh, uh, what will the designer won't know, right? Uh, he has done some simulation, he has got good results, uh, he has fabricated it, and now it is not meeting the specifications, right? So what what can you do then, right? So if you just do design characterization, uh, that it is not good enough. Suppose some design criteria is is uh, no, is not <coughs> uh, right, uh, is not meeting, right? then I have to uh, do some uh, diagnostics, right? Uh, for example, I have a uh, big chip and I have a uh, regulator and then I have an uh, uh, op-amp, right? Uh, things like that. Uh, so, I am uh, uh, trying, I am not meeting certain uh, specifications. Then uh, maybe I would want to uh, check uh, whether the regulator output is correct or not correct. So, I, 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 I can do that particular check. Suppose there is a uh, feedback circuit already there, right? Uh, and uh, I want to check if the circuit is working or not, uh, right? Uh, it, so, uh, I might want to give some other frequency and uh, see to it that whether, uh, if this particular circuit is uh, suspected to be faulty, then uh, uh, when I uh, give some particular signal, it might result in oscillation. So, those kind of uh, uh, further uh, so, it is very, very uh, complex, right? So, after designing uh, uh, for uh, design characterization, you also have to, the analog designer has to also think of some uh, diagnostic tests also, because uh, post-production, you have to you know, uh, check. Now, if a fault is detected, then we can't discard the chip. So, you have to run a few more uh, diagnostic checks and, and try to uh, isolate what could be the fault, probable fault. Okay, so that is, and then a uh, production test is for a large scale uh, 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 test. So, so if you are uh, producing thousands of uh, chip, then uh, you might in the uh, want might you may not want to do the design characterization hundred percent initially. So, uh, when you have large number of chips, you might want to do uh, some kind of a uh, fast test for all the chips and uh, do the first set of testing. So that if there is a fault, an, uh, an a fault found, then we can go for a diagnostic and if diagnostic uh, uh, design characterization and, and, and if the design uh, uh, fails, then I would further go to diagnostic. So I'll first run production, right, test and then uh, uh, if it fails, I go to design characterization. So product, uh, production uh, test is for large scale and uh, uh, we may not have 100% design characterization there, okay. So, a certain uh, specific uh, small number of tests, uh, which will reasonably tell me, okay, uh, it is uh, fine, okay. So, now uh, specification based tests are generally uh, directly from the uh, circuit specifications, okay. So, there is no reference to the analog fault model, okay. I have nothing to do what has happened inside here, okay. So, uh, this is a widely uh, accepted uh, thing for uh, analog circuits, okay. Uh, but certain times, uh, uh, the number of specifications will be very large and hence this is uh, slightly uh, complex and uh, <coughs> expensive, uh, but there is no uh, solution out here. Uh, why? Because uh, we can have an, a structural uh, based testing also, right? Uh, to structure, like, like for digital circuits, we saw, right, uh, if we have n number of uh, inputs, the total number of uh, uh, false uh, uh, test vectors will be uh, 2 
to the power of n. But if you uh, try to take the uh, stuck at faults, uh, each stuck of uh, stuck at fault, uh, 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 <coughs> so all this stuck at for, for all this uh, stuck at faults, uh, we may not require two to the power of uh, uh, n vectors because many vectors uh, uh, will map to, to one fault only. So we can uh, uh, minimize the uh, uh, total num uh, structural. Uh, 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 in, in structural uh, no, fault testing in digital circuits, we can uh, minimize. But in uh, analog uh, circuits, okay, this fault uh, we really uh, cannot map directly into some output. Okay, so all these faults are slightly uh, complex in nature. Okay, uh, so we can't clearly uh, uh, relate this fault to some output. Okay, so that is the reason. Uh, no, uh, structural fault uh, although there are uh, guys who are trying to uh, they try to uh, find uh, map these uh, structural faults and uh, reduce the total number of test vectors say okay this fault will uh, 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 affect my bandwidth as well as gain okay uh, then uh, two tests will not be required only single test is required okay uh, no, on, on paper uh, this philosophy looks good uh, but right there are uh, not many people uh, uh, who accept uh, structural analog so we are uh, still not in a stage where we can say okay this particular component uh, faulty uh, uh, if you check this then uh, these faults these specifications uh, uh, together uh, it won't be met or it will be met so that kind of mapping of uh, structural faults uh, no, with with the uh, output specifications this is slightly difficult in analog circuit so and hence most of the testing is uh, today uh, is specification based testing uh, <coughs> now uh, uh, there could be uh, uh, when we do the specification uh, test okay uh, <coughs> so uh, 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 like uh, analog uh, circuit again it, it cannot be uh, automated the testing okay uh, in fact the uh, design itself the synthesis itself uh, is not uh, uh, like like digital circuits from uh, from a very log code uh, there are so many uh, synthesis tools which will make the gates and circuits right uh, for uh, analog circuit we don't have such an, a great an, uh, simulators right which you 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 say you give a specifications of the you know, circuit and and and, and the tool with uh, in digital circuits so you, you can write and even in uh, see high level c language and, uh, and the right uh, functionality and 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 there are tools which will give you transistor level right you, when we are doing uh, very log circuits and uh, it, it will just uh, map it, it into an rtl schematic and 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 from the rtl schematic when you import it into uh, cadence uh, tools like cadence Okay, it will give the transistor level circuits also, but for analog circuit, and we don't have uh, no, uh, such uh, <coughs> tools available. So right, and and hence, uh, to uh, uh, to derive a test vector also becomes that much more difficult. So everything is done uh, manually, right? For uh, analog designers, uh, the rule of uh, thumb uh, uh, is important, right? Uh, like I, when we learnt in the analog uh, design circuitry, I say, I I should always tell right so uh, 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 mathematical calculation will just uh, give you uh, uh, some some rough uh, uh, parameters at the output after that it is your intuition which will work right uh, you have to know for a particular circuit and uh, if i increase the value of r1 what would happen right so so if i take here if I, even if i take the simplest of circuit if i make just an op amp like this right and and i i put this as 10 and i put this as uh, 100k right so uh, uh, i would uh, expect that uh, suppose i put this 110 uh, and this as 10 i would expect that the signal will be uh, 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 10 times out here so i uh, i do a simulation and see uh, more often than not it will not be 100 okay uh, it could be 90 or it could be uh, 100 uh, 110 also now uh, 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 it is the intuition now i will know okay uh, the an increase in this resistance and uh, right uh, uh, will increase the gain or, or decrease the gain so that kind of intuition only so all analog circuits uh, because uh, it is very very difficult to design analog circuits and uh, with the complex and uh, uh, id equations what we have right for uh, especially at lower nodes and uh, the I, id equation will have uh, more than 50 parameters okay 
uh, so it it is uh, difficult uh, to do even with the first order uh, with the first order or second order id equations itself we will have to you know solve uh, linear equations to get the answers now if you uh, try to do it with the actual model then it is impossible so the uh, with intuition only we design okay we we just take a rough uh, id equation and design a circuit and uh, subsequently uh, with intuition we do now uh, so it is not standardized say jay singh is uh, designing a circuit is not getting the gain uh, he might want to manipulate this resistance right but if kirti is designing a uh, same circuit and 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 she is not getting the design she might want to manipulate this resistance so so it is everything is uh, manual in analog design nothing is uh, automated so uh, so that's what uh, we said here right so uh, so it 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 is an uh, like like a what if analysis okay uh, what if we increase uh, do this what would be the result so that's how the analog designers uh, work uh, <coughs> so uh, so uh, so this this is what uh, everything is done the the aim uh, the gist of this is in analog circuit everything is done uh, manually now uh, first we do an uh, dc analysis then uh, we go for uh, ac analysis and uh, this is the most uh, time consuming analysis in uh, in a simulator uh, which is the transient analysis okay so you might have experienced that in your uh, in your uh, uh, lt size uh, spice simulations also uh, when you do analog circuits uh, sometimes uh, the outputs they don't uh, converge okay when you do the uh, transient analysis so first uh, we try to apply the uh, dc test and only if it passes then you apply an uh, at ac test uh, like like when you do the uh, dc test all the uh, capacitances and all uh, will be uh, uh, removed open and and then you are just trying to uh, operate also also although in even in uh, dc analysis also uh, there will be several and uh, the equations of the transistors are complex in nature right so there will be uh, uh, there can be convergence issues and things like that there also but it is relatively uh, simpler then when we do the ac analysis now uh, all the uh, dc sources will be grounded okay and then you do that and in the transient analysis uh, both the dc sources and the ac sources and both are, uh, are going to uh, be there right so it, it is the uh, most complex so this is the now uh, way uh, we do the uh, uh, simulation uh, so uh, dc uh, testing is attractive because it it is a, uh, 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 less expensive so uh, so uh, uh, and and then uh, th there are uh, several uh, tools are available. In, in the tools okay there are uh, uh, several <coughs> uh, algorithms available okay uh, for uh, to get the solutions uh, fast okay uh, so so there will be converging uh, uh, issues so it will uh, require uh, many equations right uh, suppose there are uh, several <coughs> uh, no, uh, equa no, like uh, for example uh, um, uh, uh, let me uh, give an uh, example suppose this is uh, vdd okay uh, if there is a uh, transistor here there is a resistance out here now how do i find the uh, current of this equation uh, or, or of this particular transistor right can anybody say if this is r is there mu and c ox is there everything is there how do you find out the current right this is an uh, uh, now uh, if i have to uh, if, if i just make a, a connection like this right okay uh, how do i find what would be the current right so if i write the id equation id is equal to okay uh, say 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 mu n uh, c ox uh, w by l right and then uh, uh, vgs right uh, v what is an uh, vgs that is not known uh, out here correct so uh, 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 vgs uh, 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 here if it is a uh, pmos suppose if it's a uh, pmos i can uh, write it as uh, uh, VDD minus an uh, ID. Uh, this is the voltage, right? Now minus an uh, ID into uh, R. 
right so if you see here uh, this is a quadratic uh, uh, equation uh, which is uh, coming up correct so uh, most of this when uh, uh, all in all the analog uh, circuits okay and, and it won't be a uh, simple uh, solving of the equations okay there there could be uh, multiple uh, conditions right so and and from those multiple uh, conditions only the answer would come right uh, and 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 to solve uh, uh, how does an uh, sim uh, uh, simulator uh, solve an a uh, quadratic equation or uh, 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 yeah, uh, x to the power of an uh, 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 n uh, plus x to the power of n, uh, n minus 1 uh, uh, a x to the power of 1 b x to the power of 1 there is some equation so ultimately the simulator has to solve uh, uh, equations so how are these equations solved so there is various algorithms okay the simulators would uh, use okay so uh, some uh, while uh, uh, so you could face convergence issues that means uh, the, the simulator may not be able to resolve uh, these equations at all so there are uh, several techniques which uh, 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 which will uh, uh, improve the uh, convergence so so we'll uh, see some of them uh, like uh, uh, to uh, to enable the simulator okay uh, to uh, no, uh, converge okay uh, so uh, instead of uh, this is, uh, so so there there will be some uh, uh, tools uh, which will which will uh, 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 fasten up these uh, so, uh, so uh, one or two we will discuss uh, towards the end of the class okay uh, now uh, uh, when we are doing an, uh, one, once we do the normal simulation we get some results okay now we we get some results now we have to uh, suppose we have to uh, do a uh, uh, fault we have to induce some fault and see so each component okay uh, each component in instead of an stuck at 0 and stuck at 1 now each component uh, can be uh, modeled like this okay uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, it could be a transistor or it could be a, whatever component it is it is normally uh, 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 if there is no fault it is normally closed so it will uh, this will act like an uh, right as a uh, pure uh, resistance okay so uh, or like like on resistance of the transistor or uh, uh, right if it is open then then you know, this circuit is open fault okay so now if it is closed then uh, uh, every uh, component uh, right even if it's a transistor it will be modeled as a uh, resistance so uh, by doing this uh, uh, the uh, simulation okay will be for much uh, faster uh, similarly it could be an uh, like like there could be a fault like this okay uh, in which uh, 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 if it is uh, 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 normally it should be open so the resistance but if the switch closes then it will be short so this r will not be available so these are the uh, 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 conditions for each device right for each device so uh, and and this could be the third condition where uh, if there is uh, no fault right and uh, the total resistance is uh, 2r and if there is a fault uh, this comes here and then uh, this could become the total resistance will uh, change from 2r to r okay so for uh, each component uh, uh, you can have an open fault you could have a short fault or you could have a uh, parameter fault and one uh, one will be fault free okay so for each component in the circuit okay uh, you will uh, replace first you will do a simulation for fault free and then second okay you will replace that particular component with an open fault okay so the model for the open fault will be like this model for the short fo no, uh, fault will be like this model for the uh, no, uh, parametric fault is like this like like for example so you will take okay uh, a resistor uh, of 1k first you will simulate with that then uh, uh, you will simulate with a uh, uh, zero uh, k and then uh, you will uh, simulate with an uh, infinite then probably uh, you will do one more simulation with 0.5 k okay so now you compare this four uh, results okay so in, in dc simulation you will do uh, all these in uh, a uh, four right at the simulation stage itself we do that for because post fabrication all of these things can happen right so what is going to be the effect so we can uh, do all those simulation uh, fault simulations now uh, and see you know, what would be the effect okay of the gain and things like that and then i can say okay uh, if this uh, resistance gets fabricated as open then uh, this is how my uh, output parameter will look like right and and so for uh, each component 
I have these four models, open fault, uh, short fault, and then parametric fault. So this parametric fault also I need to uh, decide, uh, decide, okay, and how would the, so uh, this is an, uh, like all the uh, uh, nonlinear elements are also idealized by an ideal uh, uh, diode, right, and, and then they are modeled as a linear element, okay, piecewise linear element, so that the simulation is not, we are not trying to uh, 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 do a uh, complex uh, 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 n order differential equations, we are not trying to solve. Okay, so this is known as complementary pivot method in which every component is simplified into an uh, resistance uh, and a switch model. Okay, uh, so this method does not have the uh, Newton Raphson uh, iteration method. Okay, so Newton Raphson iteration method is the uh, one of the iteration methods uh, which helps in, like, like in the previous case, I said. Uh, this is uh, one this uh, Newton Raphson interact uh, no, iteration method helps us in solving these equations quick, quickly with less number of uh, iterations okay uh, so but uh, here uh, in the complementary pivot method uh, all the transistors and nonlinear elements uh, are uh, modeled like this okay so now all the equations will become a uh, linear equations first order uh, no, uh, equations you know, there there could be first order simultaneous equations okay so that uh, you need to solve that so you don't uh, require a uh, complex uh, no, uh, uh, no, iteration or algorithm to uh, resolve to solve those so they all becomes a uh, simple models and 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 the solutions will be fast okay so uh, so we uh, de, uh, we in, uh, induce all these faults and, and try to find out the uh, output okay so this is the thing which we do uh, for an actual circuit analysis initially uh, we might uh, 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 take uh, an and an, a full model and find out the results but uh, this is a time consuming process but when we are inducing fault right then we replace the entire uh, thing by by simple model okay uh, and then do the simulation and so uh, this is known as the uh, newton raphson method uh, what it does is uh, li like uh, suppose uh, uh, this is an uh, just graphical first uh, i take some uh, 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 starting point i assume some value okay uh, initial condition uh, i take it as x0 okay and i try to find out uh, for this Okay, now suppose this is the equation fx is equal to 0. I have to find out and finally uh, analog uh, uh, all the equations uh, finally it boils down to something like this, right? Where I have to find the value of x for which f is equal to 0. So, this is the graph of the f. So, what I uh, what is the Newton Raphson algorithm does is it starts with uh, one arbitrary value x0, it starts with uh, here, okay. And then, uh, uh, and and then I I compute the next uh, 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 this thing, uh, next value of x by using this formula x minus f x zero by minus uh, uh, x zero minus f x uh, zero divided by uh, 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 f dash x zero. This is the uh, differential of uh, f x. Okay, first order differential. So uh, you do that. So uh, I I take uh, uh, this value. So I actually graphically speaking, I'll draw a uh, tangent here. So I get a uh, second uh, value out here. Okay. Now uh, from the uh, second value, okay, uh, I uh, take this. Okay. I draw another uh, tangent from here. I'll get this value. Okay. Then from uh, here. Now, I take uh, uh, another here, I draw one more tangent. So, I keep changing the value of uh, x. So, graphically, I keep doing until I reach this value, right? So, uh, I can do it. Uh, when do I stop this? Okay. After 100 iterations, it will come close. Okay. So, there are, uh, uh, so you set those things in, in your uh, uh, analog design iterations. Sometimes you say, okay, uh, you, you specify, okay, you go uh, 100 times, okay, from here to here. From the initial value, you go do 100 times and uh, leave it. But that is not uh, really uh, a good thing. Uh, what we uh, say is, okay, uh, if, if the answer is, uh, uh, like I, I have reached uh, some value of x0, right finally this x0 is getting amended 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 okay after a certain time okay initially this is the x0 and this is the one so if you see the difference in these two uh, is large but as i'm coming close here 
then uh, the difference between the uh, value and the next value preceding value will be less so i say okay uh, when it comes when the answers have start coming uh, close to and uh, if the difference is you uh, know uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 uh, you stop the simulation and you take that as the correct value okay uh, you end the simulation and we will uh, now nah, we'll assume that the equation is solved and 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 i you now finalize the uh, results there okay so now if i set uh, nah, okay uh, when only when the difference between these two is 10 to the power of uh, minus uh, uh, 6 right then i will get a more accurate result and and uh, uh, and, and it is possible uh, 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 right it will take more time but there is always an uh, problem in setting very very uh, high accuracies uh, suppose uh, uh, this method of uh, uh, solving uh, right and uh, uh, sometimes when you uh, give uh, uh, this value so uh, uh, if, if this is the uh, desired value uh, it could jump from here to here right and uh, the, the next solutions okay it may not uh, uh, come uh, here itself so it might uh, uh, get into a convergence uh, problem convergence that means uh, uh, if you are reducing the step size and uh, you are reaching here if you are uh, again uh, if the result is going the uh, uh, the difference is increasing between two consecutive then you uh, uh, go back then uh, again so it, it, it is kind of uh, no, no it is known as a convergence issue so you, you this may not uh, converge at all so that time we say okay uh, we we uh, relax the constraint okay in the tool now, so so every tool will uh, have uh, this a uh, uh, newton uh, wraps and uh, in the background running uh, and and these are the settings which will be available so it is available in cadence also right normally uh, we don't do all those things but uh, suppose you are doing simulations with an uh, uh, cnfet and all uh, where the models are uh, slightly uh, complex now or uh, you are doing say uh, na, simulation of uh, tunnel feds and uh, uh, with an uh, na, id characteristics from a lookup table and all so there also there you could land up in uh, na, uh, convergence issues in in those cases we will have to uh, relax this error uh, so you got an idea what is what is this uh, uh, error values now uh, uh, what are what are what i am speaking about hope you are all in sync yeah jay singh are you Yes, okay uh, so uh, every uh, i i'll uh, probably so uh, so in the dc uh, fault uh, simulation okay uh, once the uh, first uh, run is uh, done right uh, and then uh, uh, so the, the in the tool itself we can say okay now uh, uh, we so this is the uh, thing which we got right from uh, here to here right finally uh, 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 after several uh, iterations i got the correct answer right so uh, one way of try, uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, find out the error uh, 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 how would this uh, entire circuit will behave uh, 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 with with faults uh, is to uh, go back uh, uh, here right that is known as the uh, uh, one step uh, relaxation so uh, so uh, this is the when, when we do the uh, newton uh, rapson algorithm uh, it, it generates the jacobian matrix uh, so the final uh, where it converges you you go back one or two step back and with those values you try to do the simulation and uh, and and if this uh, circuit is you know, still functioning you can say okay uh, that particular circuit uh, can tolerate uh, some amount of fabrication uh, faults okay so uh, rather than uh, trying to so that is what here what we did in complementary uh, pivot method uh, we uh, replaced uh, all the uh, transistor models with with very very uh, simple uh, no, resistances uh, and 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 switches and and uh, and we induced these faults and and try to you know find that okay whether the circuit is uh, tolerating these amounts of noise or not right uh, faults or not uh, in the jacobian uh, uh, in this in one step relaxation method right we do a normal simulation and in the normal simulation the data uh, okay the the results are you know, obtained uh, through newton raps and iterations and all these you know, uh, metrics will be available then you go one or two uh, relaxation step okay back uh, from from your uh, obtained solution and then you do a, a simulation with with that, those values okay uh, and and still if you are getting the uh, specifications at the output uh, that means you, whatever you have uh, designed 
okay uh, that that is uh, <coughs> that can tolerate a certain amount of uh, uh, fabrication faults okay so uh, that is uh, uh, one way of uh, uh, doing the dc simulation so when you uh, design an analog circuit okay uh, post that right we need to do uh, uh, this uh, simulation it is very very important because at the uh, simulation level itself you have to uh, uh, see to it that that the fabrication <coughs> tolerances uh, uh, it can handle okay uh, only then we go for uh, fabrication so uh, like in uh, cadence you have an uh, legato uh, reliability solution for analog uh, defects okay so uh, so you, you this 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 tool itself uh, uh, provides uh, right this this tool uh, legato will will do an uh, 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 will run and uh, it will say uh, after running it that okay uh, even with uh, these uh, faults also right and uh, uh, it will uh, give you lot of input whether the circuit can uh, sustain those faults okay it, it will uh, uh, do some uh, uh, open short bridge faults also and then it, and, uh, if, if you are not getting the uh, results it would say for uh, these faults uh, uh, so so this uh, uh, this this tool uh, will uh, help right and, uh, in in uh, once the circuit is uh, uh, made and it's uh, found functioning then uh, we need to run that circuit in uh, uh, na, legato uh, to do an uh, uh, further analysis before fabrication okay so uh, this is essentially uh, na, inducing faults and uh, seeing uh, what this tool is doing is inducing faults and and uh, uh, running these algorithms in the background and uh, telling us okay uh, these are the uh, <coughs> and it also uh, these tools also uh, given the uh, idea of uh, right after running these uh, tools we also get an idea of what is the tolerance which is permitted right uh, for example uh, when when we uh, do uh, run these tools and and the value of uh, uh, 10k right so uh, it would say okay this resistance uh, if if it is uh, uh, within this bracket right within this uh, 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 error range the output will be still within the specified range okay uh, so from the uh, fault simulation we should also able to uh, tell uh, right uh, now what is the uh, total permitted uh, uh, variation uh, uh, of this resistance okay uh, or the, we can take the other way around also <coughs> for each say resistance or capacitance from the fab lab and uh, they give the tolerance value okay that means if if it is an uh, 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 resistance if it is an uh, poly resistance <coughs> they'll say okay a 10 percent variation is possible or uh, if it is an uh, uh, metal resistor diffusion resistance okay uh, say 12 percent uh, error is possible or it will say if it is a uh, metal resistance then only five percent variation it will you will get a very very accurate uh, resistance value but then metal resistance will take on uh, a large area right so so different resistance uh, will will have different tolerance values so uh, we once we have designed the circuit uh, from the fab lab data from the tolerances uh, we will again run a simulation for this 10 percent of variation of the resistance okay whether i am still getting the uh, output within the specified limits okay so these tools uh, uh, they take care of all those issues okay uh, so uh, here basically uh, what these tools are doing they are not actually uh, trying to generate a test vector or it is nothing to do with automatic test uh, pattern generation what these tools are doing uh, once you have made an uh, circuit in, and the netlist is available okay uh, it would uh, 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 try to induce uh, uh, for uh, uh, variations of which is permitted from the tech library and uh, give you an uh, uh, overview whether you are uh, meeting these uh, uh, specifications right so uh, it will do that <coughs> each of those components it will, it will do a uh, simulation and then it will uh, give the results uh, right so that so uh, similarly uh, synopsis also has got uh, uh, things like that so uh, it's an, uh, a different company you know uh, one is uh, cadence and this is synopsis uh, they have a uh, uh, prime seam custom fault uh, they again uh, do analog fault simulation right once a circuit is uh, given to uh, the tool uh, it would uh, cover the manufacturing test coverage okay 
and then it would uh, do the analysis and it will tell okay uh, so uh, so essentially uh, if the uh, tolerances from the lab is known all right it, it it will run that and and then it will tell okay for these uh, tolerances values uh, your uh, circuit specifications is uh, failing and hence you might want to and uh, uh, redesign your circuit okay uh, so uh, this is uh, then uh, you have an uh, monte carlo uh, simulations also this is also available in the uh, cadets this is from the card right uh, here uh, 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 you can uh, right so if there are uh, uh, circuits right uh, several components it will uh, uh, keep uh, varying the value of all these uh, uh, components in a uh, random manner okay and and you can uh, set the total number of uh, runs as 1000 10000 and all so it will uh, uh, <coughs> unlike digital circuit it will uh, randomly change uh, values of small small uh, 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 components in the circuit okay one resistor value it would change a little bit and and and, and it would change the uh, uh, say say uh, mu and c ox value of one transistor right uh, randomly here and there uh, 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 not, not single faults multiple faults at uh, several locations so this is an uh, monte carlo simulation is uh, just uh, it, it, it will do several runs uh, with with uh, randomly varying parameters here and there uh, throughout the uh, chip uh, right and uh, not localized to one chip uh, one fault here one fault here one fault here one fault here and then say three faults at, at one go so so these kind of uh, things are also uh, available uh, in the uh, tool so so this is also <coughs> done and then you know it would uh, give me the uh, analysis so <coughs> so uh, so what we uh, uh, what all these uh, tools are uh, doing we are not talking about post fabrication uh, tests okay all these things don't confuse with that all these these tools are before sending for fabrication itself right uh, we are trying to make a circuit uh, which will be uh, immune to the uh, fabrication faults okay so uh, that is what uh, has been uh, done till now uh, this is known as uh, test pattern generation uh, using uh, sensitivities okay uh, here uh, what we do is uh, li like uh, uh, differential sensitivities the change in the output for a uh, small change in one of the uh, uh, parameters of the circuit okay uh, incremental sensitivities and change this is for a very very small change in the uh, parameter incremental sensitivities a uh, change in the output for a uh, uh, relatively larger change in the uh, 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 value so the, this this delta xj this could be change in the resistance value this could be the change in the gain overall uh, gain okay now suppose uh, for a resistance value r uh, the gain is uh, g right so uh, 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 delta uh, so r is an uh, uh, xi okay and uh, delta r is delta xg and 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 uh, this is gain and 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 this is change in gain okay so <coughs> for a uh, given suppose there is a uh, circuit uh, here <coughs> initially i i make this ma this this matrix okay that means uh, uh, like like for example uh, 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 this is the value of an uh, r1 and r2 okay uh, this is uh, negative uh, and, and this is uh, shown as gain uh, a1 and uh, this is one uh, and this is shown as one that means uh, this is the sensitivity and uh, why is this uh, negative uh, if you say uh, r1 right uh, it says ki uh, uh, if r1 uh, 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 increases right uh, the gain at, at uh, a1 is the first stage gain okay uh, here right so uh, 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 v in right uh, and r2 okay uh, so uh, if you see here uh, this neg this is negative this is positive okay it only indicates that uh, the change in uh, this uh, will affect the gain in one direction whereas a positive change in here uh, will affect the gain in the uh, other direction so the effect of r1 and r2 uh, uh, will be uh, uh, opposite in polarity so this stage in uh, 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 the uh, a1 in this matrix okay uh, here i have a1 this is affected only by these two resistances right and 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 similarly uh, a2 uh, gain out here this is uh, affected by uh, c1 and a3 this is the ac voltage gain at the point number three so uh, similarly you make this matrix okay 
uh, so this is uh, how the test pad for generating the test pattern uh, first you make this uh, matrix okay uh, and you could also uh, make an, an a graph uh, like this uh, after uh, doing that uh, making the, uh, uh, yeah is that uh, sensitivity values uh, how are we arriving uh, this values is it so uh, uh, in the matrix yes uh, uh -huh. this is again a uh, manual analysis or a mathematical analysis which you have to do right from the gain equation okay. Okay. right from the gain equation you have to do that so uh, once uh, you do this right uh, uh, <coughs> once you uh, do all these things right and you make this uh, matrix and and then you, know, you perform a uh, sensitivity analysis okay uh, make make this uh, graph right and then uh, uh, from here two things can be done okay uh, first is uh, what the you know, generally this is done by the uh, uh, tool also who are all the, all these you know, tools also they do that uh, first of all first is uh, we can uh, from here okay since this is a uh, known okay now if this is known now uh, say uh, my gain is uh, required gain is 100 for the first stage okay if this is known uh, can i say okay this is the uh, no, uh, and i say okay uh, for 1 millivolt uh, input signal the gain has to be uh, no, 100 so uh, input is specified the output is specified okay so uh, with that i can say okay what is the maximum you know, tolerance which is permitted here that is one way of looking at it the second uh, uh, issue is okay now uh, the uh, <coughs> when it is getting you know, fabricated okay so there will be some 10 percent or 20 percent error which is permitted so so uh, with that particular error also okay uh, with that particular error also okay what is the uh, test vector uh, which i give here and uh, still i get the desired output okay so instead of one suppose it is 1.1 right and and uh, this is you know, uh, say, say some other value and i am i have to get you know, uh, this gain here so what is the minimum test vector okay including this tolerances what is the test vector uh, you know, which will give me the correct result and, and if I go uh, below that value, okay, below that uh, no, uh, 1 millivolt, I won't get this. So, normally if I get 1 millivolt, I will get this. Uh, within the tolerance also, uh, if I give 1 uh, millivolt, I will get the output. But uh, uh, when when this tolerance is in the uh, no, uh, is going uh, no, uh, beyond the limits, then if I give this 1 volt, I won't get the uh, output so i generate the uh, test vectors uh, accordingly right considering the uh, tolerances which are available right so i i for this gain so uh, and then i have to observe these points also right it is not that so we need to observe the signals at these points also so we will uh, 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 learn how to insert an uh, observability at these points also right so these are uh, these are the uh, test uh, which we do uh, and then uh, uh, we uh, uh, finally uh, we have to uh, think of uh, design for testability even in analog circuits uh, how to observe these points okay uh, whether uh, this particular this fault uh, can be propagated here or i need to observe this point okay so so that decision is again uh, unlike a digital circuit it is not uh, clear cut okay so uh, once you do the sensitive analysis okay and then and i say okay uh, to detect you know, uh, the fault here okay this is the test vector i need to do now the second point comes whether this is observable at the output or it is not observable or you know, that get masked when it is getting passed from this circuit okay if it is getting masked then i might want to uh, insert an observation point here and if it is not getting mass then uh, so uh, so this is the kind of uh, uh, simulations which we do uh, so i uh, will uh, just discuss this one particular slide and then uh, take a break uh, so uh, uh, here uh, what is done is uh, li like for this particular uh, circuit this is the uh, transfer function okay uh, 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 this is like you uh, know uh, v in uh, by r1 uh, is, is equal to uh, v out 
by uh, no, this impedance. So, this is Rf by C. So, if you see here, uh, no, uh, this no, I, I can uh, uh, V out, okay, because uh, no, this this entire thing is no, uh, this Rf uh, in parallel to, no, uh, in, uh, to the capacitance. Right, so I can uh, write a transfer function in this particular uh, format, right? And and from the transfer function, I make the uh, graph. Okay, now, now now this graph is also is equivalent from to this. If if you see here, if you try to uh, uh, write this, okay, if you add an uh, v in an, uh, into minus one by R C uh, plus, if you if I write an uh, v out in uh, minus one by R is equal to into 1 by s is equal to v out if you if you write from this uh, no, equation you you will uh, land up in the same uh, equation so you make an uh, graph out here and then uh, you make an uh, uh, no, a reverse graph okay and and in the reverse uh, graph uh, i have an uh, v out right uh, and and then now i see uh, uh, i make a, once i make the reverse graph right i say okay uh, for a uh, 1 millivolt at uh, output okay what should be the v in okay uh, for for uh, 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 these uh, specifications and if there is a fault uh, what will be v in okay so i i do an uh, 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 reverse analysis and and then i say okay i uh, i do a reverse analysis and i and i find out okay for for r1 fault uh, to get 1 millivolt at the output uh, this is the v in right now now uh, uh, when i do the uh, test simulation okay uh, so i'll i'll do the other way around so uh, if i if i uh, uh, put that particular uh, signal and i'm uh, getting this particular output then i can say that r1 is at fault okay so it it is a kind of a reverse engineering what we are doing we are from the circuit you know, we are writing the you know, transfer function from the transfer function uh, we are making an uh, 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 graph and and this is an a uh, forward graph then you make an a uh, reverse graph and and we take the uh, specifications uh, uh, here right and then uh, uh, we find out what is v in and then we induce the fault out here and find out the corresponding uh, v in right so that will give me a test vector uh, corresponding to that particular fault so this is known as the uh, reverse and uh, uh, T, uh, tpg using signal flow graphs okay so uh, uh, we will uh, stop it out here and uh, we'll uh, uh, have uh, uh, a few more uh, slides and then i will uh, call it uh, for today uh, but uh, this particular uh, analog uh, design uh, uh, is not included for your uh, uh, exam right uh, because uh, uh, why so because all this you know, philosophy is uh, what we are uh, learning out here is very very um, uh, 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 dependent on the actual uh, circuit so these are just an uh, broad uh, guidelines uh, because uh, 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 in, when we make a circuit so all these things you know, is uh, will have to be adapted uh, as per the uh, actual circuit out there so uh, this is all uh, to be done uh, so uh, testing of analog uh, circuits is slightly uh, complex and and uh, not uh, automated it's it's to be done most of the things needs to be done and manually okay and the only thing uh, uh, <coughs> good thing about this thing is once you design a circuit now all these uh, tools uh, if you run okay uh, they will tell you okay uh, what are the faults which are likely to come because of the uh, component variation and then you make at the design stage itself okay at the simulation stage itself uh, you vary the circuit and and make the system uh, robust enough uh, so that uh, uh, okay in, in one year uh, if you're probably if you're running the motor carlo first version of your circuit you have run a motor carlo uh, simulation and for say out of the thousand runs uh, in a hundred uh, runs okay it has failed that means for 100 parameter variation uh, your uh, circuit is not meeting the specifications then i will uh, modify i'll analyze uh, what are the runs uh, for which it, it has failed and then probably modify the circuit and try to make it you know, uh, 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 make the circuit robust so that out of thousand say for nine 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 runs and uh, i am getting a correct desired specification so uh, so the analog testing is all about uh, uh, rather than uh, the, the focus will be uh, to uh, design a circuit uh, uh, which will 
uh, <coughs> sustain the uh, fabrication and uh, uh, faults. Okay. Uh, so the uh, analog uh, testing uh, basically once you give the uh, test vectors okay, uh, we can do two things at the output uh, one is uh, the uh, see the results uh, if it is uh, meeting the uh, specs okay uh, so uh, suppose uh, i have to uh, uh, i have an uh, input and uh, uh, waveform uh, right now uh, uh, I have an, I am giving some uh, no, uh, test vectors on, on a, okay. uh, I could uh, uh, I can uh, put here an, an spectrum analyzer right uh, and check for the bandwidth available or, or uh, no, uh, I could uh, no, uh, check for the no, uh, frequency and and the gain or I, I could put a voltmeter or an, an emitter or an oscilloscope and, and try to uh, no, uh, find out whether uh, no, it meets the uh, specification okay. Uh, the the other uh, option is right uh, to check uh, to see the waveform okay uh, so if you see here uh, this is every uh, 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 every this thing will have uh, uh, and uh, total uh, specifications is defined so whether it is falling within the range uh, you check that uh, otherwise you take the waveform uh, and and from the waveform also we do the analysis okay uh, whether this uh, 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 overshoot whether there is an overshoot right uh, or what is the uh, settling time uh, right for for it to get settled in the uh, final whether it is over damped under damped so so these two kinds of uh, uh, testing uh, are are done right now uh, most of the uh, the modern day analog testing uh, is a dsp based okay uh, what i mean uh, dsp basis i'll have a uh, digital signal uh, processor okay uh, it will uh, generate okay now this digital signal processor now uh, uh, we uh, have from uh, from this right from here we uh, define uh, okay what are the parameters uh, which can uh, change right and, and we uh, design the we decide the test vectors okay from this and now i have an uh, dsp out here okay now from the dsp uh, i give some uh, signals uh, uh, to an uh, synthesizer okay which will generate the uh, analog circuits uh, which is this is my uh, circuit under test okay uh, so 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 uh, uh, i i generate the analog signals okay uh, from the digital i have a uh, digital to analog uh, signal uh, most of these uh, chips are right uh, it will have a mix of analog and digital so uh, along with these uh, uh, test vectors now uh, there could be requirement of certain uh, digital uh, uh, input also like 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 for example uh, if i talk about an uh, pll okay uh, there is an uh, vco correct it uh, generates an, an uh, frequency uh, now uh, this uh, frequency uh, 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 is uh, divided by n correct uh, and then uh, you have an uh, reference uh, uh, oscillator right and and you do the comparison right a reference oscillator could be uh, 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 1 megahertz right uh, this divide by a, a, a n uh, right now suppose i am setting it divide by n as uh, 10 so uh, i have an uh, so the, if it is uh, operating at 10 megahertz then divided by 10 10 and 10 and so the phase detector will not give any correction signal to the vcu right so so this is the uh, uh, analog signal which is required and 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 this divided by 10 uh, could be a digital input right uh, i i can uh, tune this uh, circuit it's an, an a mixed circuit i could say so this divide by n uh, is a digital data which the user feeds okay uh, so depending on uh, this input data okay the frequency here would change in multiples okay uh, uh, so this is a uh, binary uh, so this is a purely divided by n uh, digital circuit so there could be some you know, all the uh, present modern day circuits will require some uh, uh, digital uh, uh, inputs also right so uh, now this is uh, one example where uh, uh, it could uh, have uh, similarly if you have an uh, a linear uh, regulator if you want to uh, 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 change the uh, 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 region of operation uh, you could uh, uh, switch in some resistances capacitance through MOS switches so many circuits today uh, they uh, employ a uh, uh, digital uh, input also uh, the, the gain also can be changed uh, uh, by uh, digital switching so 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 many circuits are there so this is one uh, classical example so uh, so the, this circuit will uh, require uh, a digital and as well as uh, analog inputs 
uh, and then finally uh, these are uh, tapped okay at the output pins uh, again you convert it back into digital okay uh, and and the digital outputs are also taken and given back to the digital uh, signal processing so all the uh, testing is happening in the digital uh, domain okay so i have an uh, digital signal processing uh, it gives me certain test vectors those test vectors are in the digital format it is uh, uh, some of the you uh, know uh, 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 it will actually uh, trigger the uh, addresses okay the ram address okay from the digital signal processing i am uh, sending the ram address uh, and the uh, digital uh, no, uh, here uh, th this is also a ram in which the digital data is available right uh, so you you trigger those addresses and from there the digital and analog you know, signals are uh, generated it's given to the uh, uh, test chip and and you have the analog and the digital outputs coming uh, then uh, uh, again you give it back from the analog signal is again converted back to digital and the analysis is done in the uh, digital domain okay uh, so uh, so this is one for most of the complex circuits these days instead of on a pure analog circuit uh, testing and uh, this is the concept which has been which is being you know, implemented right and uh, like we said uh, like we had for the digital circuits okay uh, scan uh, uh, option right uh, giving uh, test vectors no uh, 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 right and then uh, taking out the uh, 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 output okay so this is just an uh, scan out so this is an uh, analog circuit suppose there are uh, several uh, stages okay uh, from uh, each stage uh, i would want to see i have given a test vector and from each stage uh, i want to see the uh, output and you know, what is the analog output uh, so what i can uh, do is uh, initially uh, these switches will be uh, open this will be open and uh, this will be open this will be open okay all uh, this uh, all this will also be open uh, i will uh, uh, close all these switches okay uh, so uh, if i close uh, what would uh, be the data captured on these capacitance can anybody say uh, what is this configuration Oh, this is just an uh, analog buffer, right? Voltage follower. So, uh, whatever is the input and uh, uh, output available at these particular, these are outputs from diff different stages, okay? So, that will be captured onto these uh, uh, capacitances, okay? Now, uh, can you uh, tell me uh, how can I get this data serially out? Anybody can get, can you make some guess? Uh, no, how, how, how? what what switches can we operate to get the data out s4 then buffer no okay so the, the first thing i'll uh, close uh, s4 right so uh, if i close s4 the value of the c1 will get uh, 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 no, uh, updated to the output will it get reflected at the output yes Yes. Okay. So now, after that, what uh, what do I? Uh, oh, obviously, before that, I have to uh, uh, no, open all these switches. Okay. Uh, S four I get uh, right. After that, if I uh, no, uh, keep S four close itself, and then close the next switch, what would happen? That will be get propagated to output. Yes, uh, this because uh, right. Uh, so this is actually uh, hanging. This capacitor is uh, like uh, hanging, right? And it, it is floating, right? Once I uh, close uh, this particular switch, okay, this amp uh, will uh, will uh, drive this. Okay, so uh, this whatever is the value here, uh, right? That is not directly connected. So there is no charge sharing or, because uh, nothing of that. Uh, happens here because this is an and a buffer okay analog buffer so whatever is the voltage available here okay, uh, it will take the data from the power supply uh, and it will uh, 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 replicate this voltage out here and this uh, data of this capacitance will get updated and since this is again a voltage buffer this data will be available out here right so serially serially you keep closing these switches backwards from this place and uh, the output of all this uh, can be uh, read uh, serially out 
okay so even the uh, scan function uh, is uh, very much uh, possible with the analog uh, circuit okay so uh, this is scan out so similarly uh, uh, if we need to do a scan in also we can do an, a similar setup right now uh, the final uh, na, uh, two three uh, slides are about the uh, na, uh, built in test for analog circuits okay so uh, this is uh, one option which is uh, available uh, suppose this is an, an a circuit okay uh, normally uh, i have this uh, input coming here so this uh, mux na, uh, this will be connected to the top and this will be connected here so i have an input and i have an uh, output okay and when I have to do the uh, testing, uh, I will introduce some uh, feedback network. Okay, uh, as per the design, if I uh, put here and here, this should oscillate. Okay, can I ensure oscillation? Right, it's up to me, right, to uh, to have an, uh, a, a product of a beta s minus one. Right, I just have to design an appropriate feedback network where an a b is uh, minus one. Okay. And if I uh, do that, then the moment I put this here, the circuit will start oscillating. And uh, from the oscillation uh, frequency, if I measure the uh, oscillation frequency and the oscillation amplitude, I can say the circuit is uh, functioning well, right? So it is possible that because uh, suppose if there is a fault in this circuit, okay, uh, and then uh, uh, we, uh, if you, if you remember from my analog uh, uh, devices classes, okay, uh, if, if the uh, 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 if if the gain set for for example, if, if something is more, uh, then uh, this oscillations uh, can uh, become a uh, square. It can go uh, if the gain is very high, then I can uh, I I might get an a uh, total uh, square wave. So this can detect okay. Uh, no, that uh, no, the gain uh, is because of some fabrication issue, the gain is out of limit. Suppose the uh, gain is less than 1, then the oscillations will uh, die down, right. So, in that case also, this will be picked up by the counter. So, any uh, fabrication issues or uh, no, can be uh, checked within by using this BIST, okay. Uh, with age also, some deterioration uh, happens, okay. So, many in, in, in many uh, analog uh, circuits, okay, uh, you might want also uh, uh, right, uh, that is another uh, totally uh, no, a new thing which people are uh, looking at. Like like in analog circuits, what happens is an uh, uh, aging effects. Right, we, with with age, uh, the value of the resistances and capacitance and uh, they uh, change. So you need to uh, either uh, uh, cater for uh, those variations uh, or in the uh, when while after doing a BIST check. Uh, maybe you have some uh, provision to uh, uh, change some values of the resistances by uh, changing. So, so that kind of an uh, uh, say uh, thing also can be done. So, this is uh, one architecture, okay, oscillation based, right? You 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 have a feedback circuit which is generally uh, not there in the normal routine operation. During testing, you get you cut in this feedback circuit and and you and for normal operation, if everything is na. Uh, uh, working fine then it should oscillate right at, at a particular amplitude right and if there is a fault then uh, either this will be uncontrolled oscillations and it will uh, reach uh, vdd and vss or it will be a dampened oscillation where where the oscillation will die down because of the faults so uh, with an amplitude detector as well as a counter so if it is in a uh, it is an uncontrolled oscillation from the amplitude detector I can find out and and if the oscillations is uh, dying down uh, from the counter I will be able to uh, say okay so this is one uh, thing which we can do uh, in the uh, built-in set self test so uh, uh, the other option is like like for uh, so these are all again very very specific to the circuit it, it is not a generalized uh, rule okay so this, this these are only philosophies which you can uh, apply to your circuit okay so uh, in uh, rf trans receivers okay uh, this is an uh, uh, receiver now uh, this is your uh, generally your an uh, analog output uh, right and it is an uh, 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 you have a mixer uh, where uh, you upscale the frequency then you have an a uh, power amplifier uh, and this generally the attenuator won't be there and and it will be uh, sent to an antenna for a uh, transmission right that is a normal uh, functioning but when you want to do a uh, built-in test, what you can do is uh, within your uh, 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 system, uh, you could have a digital to analog converter. So, I have an 
uh, digital data a uh, test vector this is the test vector i will convert it to analog signal and and instead of this uh, no, a normal analog signal i uh, i put this uh, no, no, uh, test vector into the filter it comes to the mixer power amplifier and then i introduce an uh, attenuator okay so that and i am not transmitting this to the antenna instead i am uh, looping it back okay to the uh, receiver lna okay low noise amplifier and and since i uh, this uh, receiving antenna is supposed to receive signal so you can't pump the entire uh, power into then this will burn off so i have an attenuator in between so i have an uh, a portion of the uh, right and, and this the fraction by which uh, this is getting attenuated that is also known to me so i know okay this this is coming here the again i have an uh, 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 say same local oscillator so i i am uh, getting this signal uh, back to the uh, uh, base band and then i have an uh, analog to digital conversion and then i compare these two data okay now if, if this is fine then i can say uh, if I am uh, what I am sending, if I am uh, receiving the same uh, frequency signal, then I can say this my local oscillator and this filter and this filter is working uh, fine, right? Uh, and 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 suppose I am uh, 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 I am not getting the uh, exact uh, the desired amplitude out here, right? Uh, from here and 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 then I can say, okay, uh, then the uh, power amplifier is not uh, properly. Uh, no, uh, amplifying the uh, signal right so uh, all those things uh, and the uh, low noise uh, is not uh, no, uh, working fine right amplification if the ampli if there is an issue with the amplitude if there is an issue with the uh, frequency uh, which is coming here then i can say there there, there could be some uh, problems uh, no, uh, with the local oscillators also right so so these are the kind of things which we can uh, do with analog circuits okay now these are uh, another right this is a circuit and uh, test you could uh, have an uh, test simulation uh, generator uh, input marks and test analyzer okay so this is a generalized uh, block diagram uh, you can like like this is a circuit under test and and if i have to find out the uh, power i can and uh, i put one one milli ohm uh, resistance in series right uh, and when when the current flows here it will uh, generate a voltage across this resistance and i can uh, uh, measure that particular voltage uh, which will be uh, proportional uh, no no 1 milli ohm resistance so that will be, and this voltage which is generated across this uh, it will be proportional to the current so i can uh, uh, continuously monitor uh, uh, the uh, uh, power so so this is also a kind of uh, test so again uh, you could uh, uh, check the uh, outputs okay through an amplitude detector so these are some of the uh, best uh, tests uh, which we could uh, do for uh, analog uh, circuits okay so uh, with that uh, we'll uh, end it here and uh, in the next class uh, we will uh, i'll try to uh, talk something about uh, uh, fault tolerant uh, circuits okay